Give me an M. Give me an I. Give me a T. Give me a... Osis. That spells mitosis, and that's what we're going to be looking at today. And mitosis is very, very important for the body because it allows us to reproduce cells. Mitosis is only found in eukaryotes, so you don't have to really worry about this with prokaryotic cells because, well, most of them are just one cell anyways, like bacteria. So this occurs in multi-celled organisms. My skin and all of the cells in my body are performing mitosis right now. See? Just kidding, you can't see it, but the point is that these cells are reproducing all the time because a lot of the cells in our body are dying. Some interesting things about mitosis was that um, it was actually discovered around 1882. Um, it's found in both plants and animals, and it occurs all the time inside our body. So in order for us to grow and develop, we have to perform mitosis. And so we need to be able to have a good understanding of how this works because when we get to later units, we're going to talk a little bit about what happens when mitosis goes wrong. What are some errors that can occur? And these can cause life-threatening illnesses. Keep in mind that uh, keep in mind that in mitosis, we're making two cells. They are genetically identical, and they have the same number of chromosomes as the cell started with. Okay, so if we are in, as humans, we have 46 chromosomes. Each cell at the end of mitosis should have 46 chromosomes as well. All right. All right. So what I want to do is give you an opportunity to take a visual look at the cell cycle and how it occurs and talk a little bit about what goes on in each cycle. So you can see we've got a cell here and this paper plate is actually representative of the nucleus. And you notice that there are two chromosomes in here. All right. So there are going to be two chromosomes inside of um, each of our cells. So if you remember at the end of mitosis, we need to have two cells that are genetically identical, have the same number of chromosomes as the beginning. So let's talk about this process and how this works. First phase in the cell cycle is G1. And in G1, we're just doing normal cellular functions. We're growing, uh, you know, just typical normal cell functions. And then comes S phase. And in S phase, we are going to replicate our DNA. If you remember DNA replication we've talked about in our last unit. So instead of this, we're going to replicate it. Now remember, these are genetically identical, representative by the same color. So each chromosome is going to replicate and make a copy of itself. All right? You'll see why that's important a little bit later on. So that's S phase, where the DNA replicates itself. All right? Then we go through G2 and get to the mitosis phase of the cell cycle. All right? So we start off with prophase. In prophase, the nucleus basically starts to disappear. And you notice that spindle fibers start to form on each side of the cell. Remember, these are formed near the centrioles. All right, and we'll just have these little spindle fibers here. And they serve a very important function a little bit later on. So that's prophase, all right? In metaphase, these spindle fibers are actually going to attach to the chromosomes. All right? So in order to do that, the chromosomes need to line up in the center. All right? And they line up along what's called the metaphase plate. All right? So right here, this is your metaphase plate. And those chromosomes are lined up in the middle. They're lined up in the middle so that they can equally spread apart. Remember, we're trying to get the exact number of chromosomes that we had at the beginning. So that's metaphase, all right? In anaphase, these chromosomes are going to pull apart, all right? Those spindle fibers are going to start to contract and pull those chromosomes apart, all right? So in anaphase, we're just simply taking those chromosomes, breaking them apart at the centromere, and they're pulling to each side of the cell. We go ahead and move to a little bit different look here. This is telophase. All right, the chromosomes are being pulled apart even further. You notice that there is some pinching in the middle here. Eventually, this is going to cut completely apart in cytokinesis. Also in telophase, we start to see the nucleus starting to reappear. Those spindle fibers go away. The spindle fibers disappear. And what we end up with 
all right? Once this performs cytokinesis, is two cells that are genetically identical to each other, don't they have the exact same number of chromosomes as when we started? The answer is yes, all right? One thing to keep in mind, though, as we go through this, this simulation only shows two chromosomes undergoing this process, all right? In a human cell, all 46 chromosomes line up on that metaphase plate. So there's you know, 23 times as many of these going through the exact same process, but the, the process is still the same. The fact of the matter is you get two cells that are genetically identical, all right, that have the exact same number of chromosomes as before, and that's important. We want to make sure that we have the same number of chromosomes and the same genetics because our skin cells are performing mitosis. Every cell in our body, aside from sperm and egg, are performing mitosis, all right, and we want those cells to be the same. We don't want uh, different cells with different genetics uh, next to other cells in our body. All right, definitely not a good thing when you talk about things like tissues and organs. We want those cells to be exactly the same. All right, so keep in mind we got G1, S, G2. All right, S is where the chromosomes replicate. Prophase. All right, those chromosomes start to condense. All right, we've got metaphase where those chromosomes line up on the plate. We've got anaphase, where they pull apart, and telophase, where we get two brand new cells. All right? So we got prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. All right? If you have any questions, make sure you let me know. Have a great day, guys. We'll talk to you later.